good morning everybody and happy 77th in independence day today in this auspicious morning i have arranged for a contest that is speech contest on 77th independence day to commemorate so many sacrifice and so many blood sweat to bring this hard earned freedom so i am telling you the rules everybody will come one by one and deliver their speech brief speech very nicely and we will declare the result after one week and the good speaker will get prize and the prize will be delivered in our annual prize distribution ceremony to be held in the month of april that is first april only i want to remind the young guys that definitely it is the day to celebrate proudly and jointly without discrimination of caste creed religions etc just like we are one that is we all are indian but to celebrate this independence day is not enough for us definitely we are going to pay homage to our great freedom fighters like netaji subhas chandra bos mahatma gandhi khudiram bosu prabhullo chaki bhagat singh matungini harjira prabhullo chaki so many but only to celebrate this day and pay homage is not enough to honor this day if we want to honor this day then we have to maintain this hard on freedom we have to protect our motherland try to prevent any corruption any unjust any wrong thing we have to fight against it so that we can honor this hard earned freedom so jai hind you just start one by one good morning everyone i am shoumi dhara today is independence day and it is a very special day for every indian independence day is celebrated on 15th august to commemorate the independence of india from british dominance and this year we are celebrating 77th year of indian independence uh, on 15th august 1947 pandit jawaharlal nehru was selected as the first prime minister of free india and he raised the flag above the lahori gate of red fort in delhi and indian independence is also coincided with the uh, separation of uh, british india in which the british india was uh, divided into india and pakistan every year the prime minister of india raises the uh, national flag um, in delhi and uh, he gives an address to the nation every schools and colleges in our country celebrate this day by raise, uh, raising the national flag and uh, by giving the tribute to the great freedom fighters like netaji subhas chandra bose khudiram bose prafull chaki bhagat singh mahatma gandhi and many more so indian independence is a very special day and uh, india uh, retained uh, jo- king george 6 as the head of the state until its uh, transition to the republic country when the constitution of india came into effect on 26 january 1950 the constituent assembly of india uh, made for its fifth session on 14th of august uh, 1947 at 11 pm and uh, the session was chaired by the president dr rajendra prasad they are uh, the uh, pandit jawaharlal nehru uh, gave his a famous speech uh, treated with destiny uh, to proclaim the indian uh, independence he told that at the stroke of midnight hour when the world uh, sleeps india will awake uh, to life and uh, freedom and uh, jawaharlal nehru was selected as the first prime minister and uh, the viceroy 
Lord Mountbatten continued as the first governor general. So this is the history of the Indian independence. But uh, I think uh, we are very much lucky enough that we are born in uh, independent India. And uh, I think uh, I think uh, that in independence is not just to get the uh, freedom from the external bondage. We should be free from our mind. So here I want to mention uh, some quotes. Swami Vivekananda told that uh, freedom can't be reached by weak and uh, throw away all the weakness. Tell your body that it is strong. Tell your mind that it is strong. And uh, have unbounded hope and faith in yourself. Dr. B.R. Ambedkar also told that freedom of mind is the real freedom. The man whose mind is not free, maybe he not in a prison, is a prisoner, not a free man. Whose mind is not free, he may not be in chains, he is a slave, is not a free man. Nowadays, uh, we are in 21st century and uh, Today we are uh, using a lot of technologies, but uh, I think we all have some uh, bondage that may be superstition, maybe some other social issues. So, um, and uh, in today's world, we are very much uh, social media oriented. So I think just to uh, hoist the flag in the home and just uh, to uh, click the picture and uh, upload it in social media, uh, social social media, and uh, to uh, listen or uh, seeing the. Uh, patriotic song is not the real patriotism. So we all have some social responsibilities. So definitely there are uh, so many bright students in our country and the students are the uh, backbone of the nation and uh, many students can't afford uh, the money for study because uh, of their uh, poor economic condition. So I think the authorities and we should come forward to help them. And uh, I am not telling that uh, this can be happened within overnight or the one man can do that thing alone. We all should come forward to help them. We should take care of our environment, nature and uh, other social issues also to reduce the corruption of our country. And uh, we all should come togetherly to uh, come forward and uh, to help them to make our society beautiful uh, so that the India can uh, reach the greatest positions. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Sridhendu Chatterjee. I am one of the students of Senior Spoken English Batch here in FTH and currently I am pursuing MBA. So today is the 77th Independence Day of our country. It's been a long way we have come through and in this time period we have seen a lot of uh, lots of ups and downs. Uh, our country definitely faced a lots of uh, good things and lots of uh, negative things also. Uh, definitely I hope that everyone is enjoying the this uh, nice day, this Independence Day, which is a very important uh, holiday of our country and uh, I think everybody is celebrating by their own way. Uh, but I think uh, I want to mention some important aspects uh, which are I think almost forgotten by everyone. Uh, that there are some negative things uh, that came with independence, the, those are uh, the most important things uh, is the partition. That uh, on the same day it was the initiation of uh, the partition between India, Pakistan and East, East Pakistan, uh, we, which is commonly known as Bangladesh. Uh, so uh, it, it was a terrible mess, I think, and uh, lots of people sacrificed their life. And if you try to find some families, uh, still you can find them. And you, if you ask them, they are completely traumatized and they uh, actually want to try to forget that uh, experience completely. Uh, so independence uh, not only always mean that we are, we are, we will get only the peaceful and happy things in our life. Definitely lots of sacrifice will come also with that. And if now if I come to the current scenario, then the concept of independence is not totally clear to all of us. Uh, I don't uh, want to repeat myself again and again like other years that we are really independent or not. We should raise that question. No, I, I don't think we should do that because that is a irrelevant question in current scenario. Uh, but nowadays, if we see the incidents, those are happening in our society. Uh, like example, uh, if we see the uh, condition of Manipur, it is uh, completely terrible. I am not going into the details, but I don't think we should consider them as independent. Uh, actually, uh, the main thing is the violence. When India and Pakistan got divided, the main thing was violence. Some political leaders created uh, violence between common people so that uh, they can encourage other people uh, to create a division between themselves. And in current scenario, the same thing is happening. 
so i think the people should be much more uh, cautious and intelligent that it doesn't matter how much other people are trying to create division between us we should be totally aware of that and we should always focus on uh, our life because it is ultimately the most important thing and now if i uh, come to the current scenario of west bengal the we all know the ragging incident of jadavpur uh, recently happened and it was completely a, a bad thing and here also we can see the concept of independence was completely messed up the people who actually uh, guilty in this uh, scenario their attitude they are uh, uh, vision are completely different they are thinking that uh, they are superior because they are uh, into uh, some established or renowned uh, um, educational environment but it is not uh, it doesn't matter how much uh, good i am uh, doing in my life or career i have no right to uh, dominate others life like that uh, so we should definitely uh, ask uh, our youngsters and our elderly elderly is also that if you uh, know the actual meaning of independence uh, you should definitely uh, teach the next generation about that because nowadays the scenario is completely messed up and i don't think we should uh, i'm not uh, saying a single time that uh, we should not celebrate independence day or something like that no we can definitely we will definitely celebrate our uh, independence day but we should also remember the negativity that is coming with this because only this negativity uh, can teach us Uh, something good and something better to be uh, uh, get uh, much more prospect in our future that's all good morning everyone i am apabita attu reading in first year i wish you all a very happy independence day it's my pleasure uh, to deliver a speech on this day as we know today is the most important day in indian history today we are celebrating the 77th independence day of india India became independent on 15th August 1947 from the cruel British rule. The independence we got was the result of uh, a lot of sacrifices and struggles of our freedom fighters like Mahatma Gandhi, Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose, Khudiram Bose, Matangini Hatsra, etc. Today we are fortunate that we are born in an independent India and we have our own fundamental rights. on this day national flag uh, are hoisted uh, on every public places and we can celebrate this day by singing a patri- singing many patriotic songs uh, perform so many cultural activities and sharing sweets so it is our responsibility to sincerely perform our duty and progress together for the growth and the development of our country surely the day is not so far when our country will be uh, strong and powerful uh, in all field happy independence day thank you hello everyone good morning my name is rajushri das and i am reading in class 11 so today i am going to deliver a very short speech about independence day i feel very proud to present this speech so first of all i wish all of you a very happy independence day so today is a very special and auspicious day for all indians because on this day in 1947 india got freedom from the british rule so today we are celebrating our independence and give tribute to the freedom fighters who gave their entire life for the independence of our country uh, mahatma gandhi netaji subhas chandra bose bhagat singh and many others sacrificed for our country and on this special day we should uh, remember their names and sacrifices and thank them today is the day of joy and uh, pride for all indians uh, we sing our national anthem and hoist our national flag for celebrating this day let us all work together and make our country the best country in the world thank you so hello everyone good morning i am amrita mukherjee reading in class 10 at first i wish all a very happy independence day so today is 15th august and we are celebrating the 77th independence day of india this year in 1947 we got freedom from the british rule uh, through the sacrifices of the freedom fighters there are uncountable freedom fighters like netaji subhas chandra bose mahatma gandhi bhagat singh etc 
this day is very special for every indians it's like a festival for all the indians we celebrate this day with great enthusiasm in this day we hoist our national flag sing our national anthem and sing other patriotic songs in our school or localities to celebrate this day and we remember and give respect to those freedom fighters who fought for our country but not for this only single day we should give respect and remember all those persons every day because they fought for our country and now we are living in independent india because of them so we should not forget about them and in this day we should keep a promise for keep a promise that we will be a good citizen of india and we will maintain our unity because independent india is our pride so that's all hello everyone myself rupama today my topic is about indian Indi- independence independence no so let me tell something about it this 15th of august india will celebrate 77 years of independence we as indians pay respect to all the leaders who fought for our nation's freedom in the past on the on the independence day in 2023 the prime minister of india will hoist our tricolor flag uh, at at the red fort in old delhi he will also deliver a speech uh, to the nation as well uh, however all cultural programs and school programs will occur this day india independence day is declared as a national holiday which means every government offices post offices stores are will remain shut when we look at the uh, when we look at the history of independence day then we can see that the british dominance come to an end after 200 years and uh, 200 years and uh, on august 15 in 1947 the british uh, enacted the indian independence act on july 18 in 1947 Uh, the entire act is the reason uh, was the reason of indian independence movement which had been active for a long period of time so that's all thank you jai hind